And now you are listening to audio broadcast. First Sunday morning, April 1st, 1990. 810, Rollins Avenue, Capitol Heights, Maryland. Newborn Church of God and True Holiness. Selection by Young Adult Choir. After Preach Word of God, Bishop Woodrow Roach, Sr. <laughs> I wanna know. 
here to preach, you ought to respect that minister. So let's let us receive our pastor. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, I should remain standing. I want you to turn to the 150 Psalms, verse 6. You that have your Bible, I want to give Bible reason for why we do some of the things that we do. Lord, praise the Lord. Praise him. The 150th Psalm in verse 6, what it say? Everything that has bread. Everything that is breathing. What it must it do? Praise unto Lord. God. Let everything that has breath praise God. Amen. Let everything that has breath praise God. Amen. Come on, let's shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let's shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Where's the glory? Hallelujah. 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 Thank, you, Thank you, Jesus. You are not here because you being careful. If it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, we wouldn't be here. Put your hand together and give God a big applause. You may be seated. Give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And to all of our ministers, deacons, mothers, church mothers, first lady, and to all of the saints of God and to our visitors that are visiting here with us today, we welcome you here in Jesus' name. Thank God for our, young, our combined choir who sung so beautifully today. And for our musicians. Praise God. We praise God, amen, for the last song. Do you know him? Praise him. I want you to know if you don't know him, you can know him. Yes, yes. You can go back home knowing the man. Praise God. Praise him. Amen. Do you know him? They were singing it. The leader was saying, I want to know. Yes, yes. Do you know him? Yes. And I clear the response that he got from the praises and the dancing. Sound seemed like somebody know something about the man. Because you can't know this man. I'm talking about knowing him like you ought to know him. And don't ever feel him. Praise him. The songwriter says, when I think of the goodness of Jesus. And all that he have done for me. And what he's doing for me. And by faith what I believe he's going to do. Very soul begin to cry out. Hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. When you have been down. And you know God lift you. That's something called you to praise him. Praise him. Praise the Lord. I want to back up what I'm saying with a scripture here. The eighth chapter of Romans. Of, of, of Acts, rather. The eighth chapter of Acts. And that eighth verse, let's see what it says. And there was great joy. There was great joy. In that city. In that city. Somebody was happy. Yes, yes. Yeah, the fifth verse and read down to that verse. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria uh -huh. and preached Christ unto them. Now what he was doing? Preaching Christ. Christ, when he's preached and somebody receives him, it brings about joy. Yes, it does. Do you know him? Amen. Praise him. Praise the Lord. It's all right. Do you know him? Praise My Lord, yes, yes. I don't know dead folks want me to do. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise him. Praise him. Do you know him? Oh, yeah. Oh, do you know him? Yeah. Praise him. Glory. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 
give me a hand wave out there. Yes, I know him. Do you know him? Thank the Lord. I read on the and the people with one accord. And the people with one accord gave he unto those things. Gave he unto those things which Philip spake. What the preacher was preaching. Yes. Yes. They accepted. Yes. Yes. Huh? And when you accept the word that is being preached through the leading and anointing of the Holy Ghost, something happens to you. Yes, yes, yes. What does it say? Hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. All right. For unclean spirits. All right. Crying with loud voice. Somebody had unclean spirits. All right. My Lord. And when they heard the word. That spirit couldn't stay in them no it's longer. Praise God. Too clean. Yeah, I have any witnesses yet. My Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. No, praise God. You had an unclean spirit. Praise the Lord. Yeah. And yeah. God brought him out of you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise him. That's why I recommend this to the drug addicts. Yes, yes. yes. Praise the Lord. Huh? Yeah. If you want to be rid of that drug spirit, then hear the word. To the prostitute. Yes. Homosexual. Yes. It'll straighten your life out. Yes, it will. Yes. Somebody's able to testify here today what they was. Yes. And what God did for them. Yes. The word. What happened, brother? Came out of many that were possessed with them. Came out. Now, when you are possessed with an unclean spirit, yes. did you hear what that word said? Un unclean. Yes. It wasn't a clean spirit, it was unclean. an unclean spirit. Unholy, praise God. And when a man or woman has an unclean spirit, they do unclean things. Praise God. Thank God. Man or woman, praise God, this is good or clean or this is good as anybody else, but if they're possessed with an unclean spirit, my Lord, they can't help themselves but do unclean things. Amen. Praise God, so true. Yes, right. Amen. Yes, praise Look like I ain't gonna get to my text. That's, That's all right. That's all right. right. This sounds good. It's the word of God. Preach it in. Huh? Preach it in. Come and get in the fifth chapter of Mark right quick. Come on, son. Let me get. Mm -hmm. They were possessed with them. That means a unclean spirit had taken over them. Yes. And you can rest assured if the unclean spirit had taken over, then the person that was possessed by the unclean spirit was doing ungodly things. Praise the Lord. Amen. And the same thing today. Yes. What makes people do unclean things? Unclean spirit. The unclean spirit. Praise the Lord. What made you did unclean thing? My Lord. You had an unclean spirit. Amen. But when that unclean spirit was cast out of you, you stopped what you were doing. Amen. 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 You wasn't holy all your life. Amen. Amen. Come on, man. Amen. 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 Don't come tell me you were holy all your life because I'll cut you down. I'm holy. You, Amen. Amen. you were just as filthy. It Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Still got some pain in your heart. Right. Praise him. If you were clean, then Jesus would have left on earth. You are clean Ooh. through the word. Yes. Yes. Which I have spoken unto you. Yes. That's what clean you up. Amen. And this man, this, this man had an unclean spirit, and all Philip would not. Philip didn't go down and mess with the people. No, he didn't. He preached the word. He didn't go down and call the people out of their name. No. Uh, he didn't go down there condemning them and sending them to hell. No, he did not. He didn't go down there preaching the word. That's all right. Amen. Amen. And the word found that man. Yes, Amen. yes. Amen. And the unclean spirit had to go. Praise yes. God. Praise the Lord. There's a lot of people who want to be free or rid of what they got. Uh -huh. Praise God. 
And the word is that he has to help you to get you done. Praise him. A lot of people are not satisfied with the life that they're living. Amen. Somebody's on drugs not because they really want to be on. Praise God. But they know no not that. All right, what does it say? And many taken with palsy uh -huh. that were lame were healed. All right, many were sick. Yes. With palsy. Praise the Lord. And the lame were healed. And they were healed. Yes. All because of the word. The word of God can heal your soul. Yes, it can. Can straighten up that lame soul of you. Praise the Lord. But these were physically sick and lame. And those that were lame, they was able to walk with Yes, yes. They were healed. Praise God. Those that were sick with part were delivered of the part. Yes. And this is why they will rejoice. What I'm trying to get you to see, when God do something for you, yes. you ought to be on fire for the Lord. Praise God. Amen. 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 Y'all don't hear me. Amen. You don't understand what I'm trying to say. Yes. I'm yes. trying to say the sunrise, when I say that the goodness of Jesus, yes. if I didn't give you all the thinking of the goodness of Jesus, I wouldn't be able to preach today. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So y'all will set this place on fire. Amen. All you gotta think about just a little oh, of what God is doing. Yes. Thank you. Get your mind off of what the devil is doing. Get your mind off your talk. I think about the goodness of Jesus. Get your mind off your broken, you don't have no money. Get your think about the goodness of Jesus. All right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Bible said the earth is the Lord. Yes. And the fullness thereof. And the fullness thereof. Yes. And they that dwell therein. If you, praise God, dwelling in this earth and you belong to God, God's going to take care of you. Yes, he will. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise him. Over there, let's keep that coming. All right. All right, what does it say? And when he was come out of the ship. When he was come out of where? Of the ship. Uh-huh. Immediately they met him out uh -huh. of the tombs. All right. A man with another clean spirit. I got another man. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. With an unclean spirit. Praise, Praise the Lord. I want y'all to listen to me today. Because a lot of the people, I didn't get to talk about this because I got another message. That's all right. But God is speaking to these unclean spirits. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Unclean minds. Praise the Lord. Unclean dreamers. Well. See, the Bible didn't warn you about filthy dreamers. Yes. My Lord. Praise. Praise the Lord. Excuse me. And if that unclean spirit is existing today, you're not going to do nothing but unclean things. I'm going to get to the ninth chapter of the group Matthew. Read on some other stuff. Who had his dwelling among the tombs. He had a dwelling among the tombs. And no man could bind him. All right, see, when the devil got possession of it, nobody can help him. Huh? Hey Amen. You can talk to him all you want. Praise the Lord. But you can't help him. Praise, Praise him. Praise the Lord. Because the devil got hold of him. Yes. Amen. In order to be able to help him, you got to get rid of that unclean spirit. Praise the Lord. Uh huh. No, not with chains. All right. No, not with chains. Because that he had been often bound with faith. They tried. Now these people wasn't binding him just to be binding him. They were trying to help him. Yes. Huh? Praise the Lord. And they couldn't do it because he was possessed with an unclean spirit. Uh -huh. Praise Amen. the Lord. Huh? Uh -huh. Yes. And in order to help him, they had to get rid of that unclean spirit. That's right. That's right. All right, what it say? Uh, because they had been often bound. They had. He had been often bound. He had been often bound. People have been trying to help him. Yeah. Sometimes you get people and you admit them into the hospital. Uh huh. You put them down to try to get some help. Yes, yes. Huh? Yes. Because you love. Them. Praise God. Praise God. They make an attitude, but it's because saying, "Why put me in the hospital? You don't love me." Mm -hmm. But you are trying to help. Them. Trying to yeah. help. Amen. But as long as that unclean spirit is there, you can't help them. Praise the Lord. Now, some of y'all have experienced this right in your own family. Yes. 
God. Among your own children. Amen. You did all you could to help. Praise the Lord. You even had went to much the far as admitting them. Praise the Lord. But they didn't have. And nothing going to help that person. Praise the Lord. Until that spirit is cast out. Amen. 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 Thank the Lord. There's a lot of people right now are holding between two pairs. They want to do right, but wrong and evil is present. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Get that spirit out. Yeah. And you can do right all the time. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. This may sound like a lecture or a Bible class. That's what all right. Yes, what is that? Because that he has been bound. Uh huh. Read. With fetters and chains. With fetters and chains. With fetters and chains. And the chains have been plucked asunder. And the chains have been plucked asunder. asunder by him. Now, a chain. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. You all know what a chain is? Yes. Amen. Imagine buying somebody with a chain and it's not like you don't have nothing on it. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise it. Now, y'all can say what well, you want. Y'all can say nothing to the devil all you want. All right. 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 But who in here know better than that? How about the Mother Brown? You know better than that, though. Yeah. The devil is a powerful thing. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, yes. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The Holy Spirit. Handcuffed. Yeah. And it's just like they put a string around it. That would give you a super Yes, yes, yes. Huh? Yes, Even John said, the devil is great. My Lord. Because he said, greater mm -hmm. is he. from God and God give you one injection My Lord. Praise Amen. and straighten your life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. People need to be saved. Yes, Praise Praise the Lord. The same people need to represent Christ to the world. Amen. You need to tell the world what God did for you. We don't need to be giving each other our testimony. I will never be got saved. You don't need to keep telling about you saved. Somebody else out there don't know. Amen. They don't know God is a savior. Amen. They don't know God is a Holy Ghost filler. They don't know God is a keeper. They don't know God can purify and clean up. Bless the praise. Praise the Lord. What does it say, son? And the chains have been plucked asunder by him. Been plucked asunder by him. And the feathers broke in pieces. And the feathers broke in pieces. Neither could any man tame him. And always, uh -huh. night, and day, night and day, he was in the mountains. In the mountains, in the, in the cemetery. Uh -huh. You know somebody living in the cemetery, right, yeah. living, living, living out there with dead folk, right. hollering and cutting themselves, something wrong with them. Right. Huh? Something wrong when a man takes his own life. Yeah. 
Something wrong with a man take an overdose or anyone. And they're doing this. Praise God. They're trying to die and want to die and is dying. That's true. That's what the devil tells you. He's showing you a way out. If the devil can get you to cut your life off before you get saved, he got you. Amen. Because there is no repentance in the grave. Right. Once you get in that ground, God can't help you. Yes, you got to find the Lord now. Yeah. While the blood running warm in your veins. While you was able to say, Lord, have mercy. Uh -huh. While you was able to say, Lord, forgive me for my sin. Yeah. While you were able to say, Lord, save me. Help you. I want to talk about this thing. But we need the Lord. Oh, how many of y'all know God is good to you? Well, don't be afraid to hold your hand. I'll just put him up there and hold him up there. You know the Lord is good. That's your mouth. Come on, Shirley, put it up there again. Why is God if you know God is good to you? Because you're saying, even though you don't have his, the Holy Ghost, he's still good. Yes, he is. 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 Hallelujah. Who gave you the strength out of there to get up in the morning? Jesus. 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 Who helped you go to work? Jesus. Who helped you to earn your sweetness side? Jesus. Who's keeping your children? Jesus. Can you say he's good? And all those things that God was there, praise God, and then he said, what shall I run? Yes. Yes. My sister, oh, see what God is doing for you. Now, what are you doing for him? How many of y'all serve? How many of y'all praise him? How many of y'all giving your life over to him? Praise God. Huh? Oh, Lord, you're so good to me. You're saving me. You are keeping me. Yes. Yes. Praise God. You're blessing my family, you're blessing my children, going to school and miss all the drugs and all these rapers and everything that out here. You take care of my children. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I'm turning in livelihood with the strength that you give me, you are watching over my family. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Lord Jesus. I Jesus. I'm going to call this one preach. It's all right. But well, it's all right. But well, God is good to me. Yes, Lord. It's all right. I wish that I could. Now we won't pray. Pray the Lord. Well, I can understand what David meant when he said, Oh, mm -hmm. that men would praise the Lord. Yes, yes. It's time to praise him. Yes. It's time to praise God. So God, let's yes. appreciate what he My did. Lord. Thank, you. Thank you. That's the hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know him? Yes. Oh, yes. You need to get acquainted with him today. Bless him. You don't need to put it off. Praise the Lord. You need to move today. Right now. Praise him. Thank you. The harvest is ripe. The labor for you. My Lord. Huh? And right now is the time, the harvest of salvation. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's time for you to repent of your sin. Yes. It's time for you to become godless sorrow. It's time for you to get saved, honey. Praise yeah, the Lord. Amen. Huh? That's the truth it is. And it's time for us to claim to be saved to get more saved. Amen. 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 So true. All right. Praise him. Praise him. When is we gonna get to the place? Saints now. Mm -hmm. When are we gonna get to the place? We're gonna start letting the Lord take care of us. Praise God. Praise him. Stop taking care of us. Praise the Lord. Lord. God want us to take care of his business. Yes. And he'll take care of you. Yes. If you notice, listen, say, this is for your edification. Have you noticed the way that you are trying to go about 
looking out for yourself is taking all your time away from God's house and God's service. Come on. Now y'all need to tell me that's God's will for you to do that. God don't mean for no man, no woman to work around the clock. I'm coming from past the spirit, so I have did it. Well, almost like work around the clock. I'm almost like trying to make ends meet. But when I gave up, God started meeting the ends from me. Hallelujah. Praise Him. Praise Him. Yes, I used to work around the clock every Saturday, every holiday, every day coming out, and yeah. everywhere I could get a little job, mm -hmm. I was doing it. Amen. But I got there in 1956, November the 26th. And I got the job, I said, Lord, if this going to do it, I just won't make it. Praise the Lord. 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 But I became a stranger to my family. They know the mom, but they didn't hardly know the dad. Yes. When they get up, daddy's gone. Praise the Lord. <laughs> they right out. Yeah. When daddy, when they, when daddy come in, they ain't the bed. Yeah. On Saturday, when out of school, when they all be teaching the boys and playing with the boys, daddy got to go to work. Church? Huh? Take care of your family. Do whatever you got to do. God don't mean to tell you to take a whole 24 hours of work. Do you know him? Praise the Lord. Do you know him? Your son, but do you know him? Your dad, but do you know him? Your husband, but do you know him? Do y'all know him as a widow? Come on, saints. Lord, how much we are complaining about our young generation. We are complaining about our... Lord, look, I ain't going to get to my message, though. We are complaining about the way our children are growing up. And your parents are not spending time doing their job with their children. Amen. 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 So true. Amen. Lord, ain't nothing to tell for a child to come up on his own you are responsible for what your child grew up to be. Huh? Yeah. Don't look for the babysitter. <coughs> well, the daycare. Yeah. No. To raise your children. No. That's your responsibility. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Stay at home and raise your own child. Yeah. Huh? When Moses got to the place, they couldn't hide him no longer. His sister was out there watching over and watching. But when she saw when Pharaoh's daughter had him drawn out of the river, what did she She draw it now, didn't she? Yes, yes. Now what did she do? You want me to get somebody to look out for her? Amen. Praise God, Pharaoh's daughter didn't know that was Moses' sister. Praise God, when he got the child, who did he take him to? Child child. To her mother. Praise the Lord. To his mom. His mama was able to amen, put the Jewish religion in him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Not the Egypt religion. All right, now. Praise the Lord. Huh? Praise the Lord. When Moses left his home and went to, to, to live in the king, Pharaoh's palace, he had a knowledge of his own race, yeah. of his own religion. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I read one day when he stepped out and he saw Egypt messing with one of his blood. Yes, he did. Yes. His yes. blood began to ball. Oh, yes. He began to say, I got, I got to defend my brother. Yes, yes. Lord, when you got the right stuff in you, mm -hmm. you'll stick with one another. Yes, sir. Yes. He moved, he didn't move right, but he made me yes. let you know how he would feel. Yes, yes, yes. And he looked this way, he looked yes. that way, and he didn't see nobody. And he rolled up and threw the Egyptian and hit him in the sand. All right, then. All right. Thought nobody saw him. How many of y'all did this thing thought nobody knew nothing about it? Praise the Lord. And you find him there known everywhere. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Went out the next day to see how the brother, yes, two brothers fight. Lord, help us now. Now, uh -huh. you can't get along with other people. You can't get along with our own sex. Yes. Oh, yes. And he thought, in a level, you that's wrong for you to fight your brother. And one of them rose up that song. What did he do? He said, Who made you a ruler over us? That's what they said. Well, do you intend to kill me like you did that? All right. This man, he went to run then. Yes, he did. Because he found somebody know what to do. Eyes are on you that you don't know about. That really might be who's you to walk right. I go anywhere. I'm not afraid to go anywhere and come back because even wherever I go, I'm right. And when I come back, I'm right. A lot of people see me and recognize me, and I don't recognize them. And some of the people have gotten like that. A lot of times I ride right by for the morning to see. But I'm not looking around to see who's on the street. I'm trying to see where I'm going. <laughs> All right, I guess I have all to say in my conclusion. That's all right. Hey, man, let's go to the 16th chapter of the Acts of the Apostles. I want y'all to ride with me a little bit. And the 30th verse. Time somebody gets saved here now. And brought them out. And brought them out. And said, Sir. Sir. What must I do? Person. Yes. The time for somebody to want to know what do I have to do to be saved? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know you're not saved. I'm not talking about no religion now. No. I'm talking about talking about Catholic, Methodist, Presbyterian, Baptist. I'm talking about being saved. I don't care what you call yourself. You got to be saved. <laughs> so I said, well, I'm a, I'm a Jehovah Witness. I'm a Jehovah Witness. Mm -hmm. I didn't ask you that. Right. So I said, well, I'm Method. I'm not asking you yeah. that. All right, yeah. Praise the Lord. But it's time to get saved. Oh, I, 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 I'm a Baptist bone. And when I die, when I'm dead, it'll be a Baptist gone. <laughs> <laughs> I know one thing, when you're gone, you better be saved. Come on. church and grandma was born himself and they helped build the church. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about being saved. Amen. This man, Sister Gillespie, want to know what must I do, brother, to be saved. I'm not worried about my dad and me. I'm not worried about mama, me. What must I? Let the church say I. Do to be saved. Amen. The question is asked. Somebody got to be able to tell you what to do. All right, yes. Praise God. Right there. Yes. yes. There ain't no need to ask the question if you're not gonna obey. Praise God. Praise God. What the next verse say? And they say it. And they say. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe on who? The Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. And thou yes. shalt be saved. How many of y'all know God's shells are good? Amen. 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 Oh yes, they are. Oh yes. God's shells are. Yes. They never miss fire. Yes. Yes. Whatever God says shall be, shall be. Yes. My Lord. Shall be saved. Praise God. Shall be saved. Yes. But somebody say, well, the, the pastor didn't say it right. Yes, hmm? Well, come on now. I see you got to know your Bible now. Hold your finger there. Get me St. John's 316. Right quick, yeah, please. Come on, I don't want to go to the 316, what it say? God so Huh? God! Do y'all know who God is? Yes. Oh, do you? Yes. Do y'all really know who God is? Yes. Yes. 
Is God something you can see? Saved. Praise God. Then I'm, I have to ask you this question. What is in hell that you want? There must be something that you want. Because you will not repent of yourself, you will not get saved, you will not receive the Holy Ghost and live God life, so it must be something in hell you want. All right, make it plain this morning. Make it plain. Yes, yes. Y'all hear me, young people? Uh-huh. Y'all hear me, young ladies? There must be something that you want. The rich man declared it was torment down there. He declared that he was uncomfortable down there. There was no water in here. There's no mercy in here. There's no help you can get when you get in there. Y'all hear me all the way back there? Y'all to get me one of them mics to tie around my neck. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. What are y'all asking a question? What is in there you want? Praise God. Y'all can't stand when you have these little cramps. My Lord. Y'all can't stand when you have these headaches. Praise the Lord. You can't stand your stomach ache. Huh? Do you think you stand here? Yes. Then you ought to be crying out, what must I do, preacher? What must I do, saints, to be saved? The time to get saved. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. time to get saved. It's time for y'all to say you're saved and wake up and get interested in your soul. I don't see any of y'all got your arms down, none of them talking to them about getting saved. Praise God. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Amen. It's time for y'all to get interested in your soul. Let's say praise God. Praise God. All right. Who said Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave. That he did what? He gave his only begotten son. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believe in him. That whosoever believe in him should not perish. Should not perish. But, have everlasting life. but God wants you to have what? Everlasting life. God wants you to have what? Everlasting life. 
some of y'all want everlasting life. Yes, Amen. That's what he wants you to have. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's not God's will that you should be lost. God wants you saved. And he wants you to have everlasting life. Let's say praise God. Praise God. Amen. All right, let's see what Romans 5 and 8 say. Thank the Lord. But God commended his love toward us. All right, what did God do? Commended. Commended. His love toward us. His love toward us. In that. In that. While we were yet sinners. My God, what happened? Christ died for us. My God, what do you call that? Love. What y'all call that? Love. While we were yet sinners, Christ did what for us? Love. He died for us. I want you to back up to that fifth verse and come on down. And hope maketh not ashamed. Hope maketh not ashamed. Because the love of God. For the love of God. Is shed abroad in our hearts. In our hearts. By the Holy Ghost. All right, how you get the love of God? By the Holy Ghost. Where the love of God shed abroad at? In our hearts. Praise God. So you can't have the Holy Ghost without having the love of God. All right, now. Praise, Praise God. Somebody say, I know I'm saved because I spoke in tongue, but the Bible says we know that we are passed from death unto life because we love the brother. Yes. I don't tell you love God and hate me. Praise God. Praise God. Huh? Praise God. I'm not saved, but the book say you a liar. Amen. And the book say you're the truth and not in you. come into your life, the Holy Ghost and love of God is shed abroad in your heart. Yes. You have love. Love in the morning. Love at noon. Love at night. Love when people mistreat you. Love when they talk about you. Because you can't do it, even these people are going to call you to be lost. Because yeah. the devil knows what upsets you. Yeah. Right. Well, uh, do I have any witnesses? Yes. 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 How many of y'all know the devil confronts you with the things that upset you? Yeah. 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 Confront you with the things that will set you off. Yeah. Come on. Yes, sir. Let's be honest, man. Amen. 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 Let us be honest. to get to the place that, that Paul said, I'll let nothing separate me from the love. I've experienced the love of God. I'm talking about what I have experienced. And since what I have experienced, I'm not going to let the devil move me from Praise the Lord. Praise it. When I was in the hospital, the love of God was there. God was with me in the hospital. And God brought me out. Yes. And God is keeping me. Yes. And right now I feel this is good as a neck pressing up in my body. Yes. 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 Even with my condition. Yes. I don't feel that condition. I, I feel good. Yes. I feel great.
that forehead and thank you, Jesus. Thank you. When the head hurt and thank you, Jesus. Thank you. When the heart feel like it hurt and thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. And help him to bear the cross. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Want you saved today? What must I do to be saved? Thank the Lord. Can I hear anybody today to ask the question? What must I do to be saved? This man was a mean man. The Bible tell me he didn't fear God. Neither did he regard man. What you're saying, you had no respect for God, neither man. Praise the Lord. Paul and Silas, two Holy Ghost filled preachers. Yes, yes. And because they stood up and preached the word, mm -hmm. and because they cast an unclean spirit out of a young lady. Praise the Lord. And the hope of a master's gain 
yes. was cut off. Uh-huh. I was talking heaven. Preach, preach. Let me tell you something, saints. Amen. Don't tell me you are saved. And you're still doing the same thing you were doing before you claimed to be saved. Well, you're not saved. The hope her master gained, she was what we call a day fortune teller. Mm -hmm. They like to see all down on H Street and other places. Yes, yes. Palm, hand. Madam. Hell up. Madam this. Amen. And Madam. Yes, yes, yes. The other. Yes. Now if you go to Madam so-and-so, mm -hmm. she can tell you whether your marriage life. I don't have to tell her that. <laughs> She can tell you whether your husband or your wife Amen. is running out on you. Mm -hmm. She can tell you, praise God, that what's going on with you is not real. Somebody has placed a spell on you. I tell you, if you go to her, mm -hmm. you can hear them saying to her, she's been a secure to many to thousands. Mm -hmm. What they're saying, she's been a help to thousands. Yes, yes. And she can help you also. Mm -hmm. And here you go with your dumb self. <laughs> Let's say praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Going to that flush <laughs> that can't even help her own self. And he began to send messages. Uh -huh. Amen. To Belzebub. My Lord. To a false prophet. A yes. false God. Yes. And the thing displeased God. Yes, it is. Y'all can hear me if you want to sing. Yes, Amen. God don't want his folk going to nobody but him. Amen. 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 God, if anything wrong with you. Yes. He wants you to go to him. And tell them that because the king is not recognizing me, praise God, he's going to die. And what has happened to him, he's not going to recover from him. Praise the Lord. But he's going to die. Uh -huh. And the king him and sent messengers. Yes, yes. And Elijah met him in the way. Yes. And told him what God said. Amen. I said, turn round. Yes, yes. Some of y'all are going to Madam So and so. I'm telling you, turn round. Turn round. Yes. Yes. That's all right. Yes. Woo! Turn round. Turn around. Turn around. And they said, go home back to the king. Go back to the king. And tell him, say, you gonna die, man. You ain't gonna live. No. And so the king, praise God, said. I'm going to send a captain mm -hmm. with 50. My Lord. And they send the captain and the 50 with the 50. Mm -hmm. And they found the man of God and said, the king said, come down. Yes. Can y'all hear the devil tell you, come down? Praise the Lord. Y'all can't hear him talking to you? Come down. Yes. But I heard Elijah say, if I, if I be a man of God, Hallelujah. Fire gonna come down from heaven. I'm gonna destroy you. Amen. Praise God. Don't mess with God. If you don't want to be bothered with him, don't play with him. Because he is no toy. God wants you to trust in him. God wants you to love him. God wants you to honor him. No, no. 
it hurts me when I hear tell us saints know about these people that can take things off you. How do you get acquainted with them? No, that's no how you find out? How you even know where it is? How you know where the office is? How you know that they are what they say they are? How do you know they got so much power? Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise him. I know somebody, if you go to him or her, they, they can do something for you. Now here you with the Holy Ghost. So all that power in Praise the Lord. Going to Madam Maybell. Well, praise the Lord. shame of yourself. I'm going to tell y'all the truth and y'all can take it from me. If I hear telling any of y'all believe in witchcraft, I want nothing to do with you. Amen. 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 Any of y'all have that wizard spirit, I want nothing to do with you. My Lord. Because it's back in the Bible that is it's suffering not a, 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 a witch to live. Praise the Lord. In Psalm David, he got rid of all of them. Yes, he did. And when he lost up with God, he was looking for one. Yes, he did. And don't you know he found one? Yes, he did. Because somebody knew where one was. Right. Somebody Amen. right in his kingdom knew uh -huh. where to direct him. And somebody always knew where one is. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Got the Holy Praise the Lord. And got another set and fire too. And they can't even burn up that witchcraft spirit. My Lord. Set, fifth chapter, I believe, of Galatians. I'm about to say. Praise the Lord. Amen. Y'all have to tell me what y'all call this preaching or not. I don't know. Sounds good to me. 19 verse, what it say? Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Uh-huh. Which of these? Three. Adultery. Adultery. Fornication. Fornication. Uncleanliness. Uncleanliness. Lasciviousness. Lasciviousness. Allotry. Allotry. Witchcraft. Whore. There you are. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise him. It's the word of God. Uh-huh. I ain't preaching up the Bible. Y'all see it in the Bible? Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Tune in every Saturday for audio broadcast service.